Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to look at how to assign particles to different static meshes. So I'm going to make another emitter system combo here, and we'll just do the fountain template again, because why not? And I'm going to call this static mesh, and then I'm going to make a system, and I'm going to call that static mesh. And let's make sure we include our emitter that I just created here. Okay, great. So I'm going to open up my emitter. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is for a fountain, it uses something called a spawn rate. And that spawns particles continuously at a particular rate. Um, in this case, we are doing 90 particles every second. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do burst instantaneous because I'm going to want all of my particles at once. And let's do a thousand particles. Great. Can also get rid of a few things here. So I don't need the sphere location. I'm going to be setting that myself. I don't need any of these this physics going on here. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Um, scale color, I'm just going to have one color. And we can do that in spawn because I'm only going to set the color once. And oh, I like this blue. Let's do this blue. Okay. Great, but this is not assigning particles to a static mesh. So I'm going to use something called a modular script. So there we go. And we'll call this static mesh script. Great. So what we're going to do here is first we're going to need a static mesh variable, which we will assign in a minute in the emitter. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the position in the world system. And for the coordinate, I'm just going to get a random tri-coordinate. Now what this is going to do, it's going to constantly be reassigning our particles to different coordinates on my static mesh, which is going to create this very nice, like glittery almost feeling to it that we'll see in a second. I'm going to assign this to the particle's position. So yellow goes to yellow, and that's it. That's all I need to do. I'm gonna give this a category just to make it a little bit easier to find in a second. And now in my emitter, if I go to particle update and add a new modular here, so we know that's why it's a script because it's gonna go into the module. And I'm going to, I'm not going to see my category. Uh, oh, if you don't see the category, what I mean, make sure that library only is unchecked because we're no longer pulling things just from the Niagara library. We're bringing in our own custom scripts. So make sure it's unchecked. You're going to see the category, whatever you called it. And then we can add in our script. And it's a warning because I don't have a static mesh assigned. Let's do a cone. And there we go. Now I have all of these particles on a cone. And if I play through, you'll notice this little glittering effect that I was talking about. So it's constantly reassigning these particles. Now it's doing this little sort of dip here because our lifetime, so we're getting new particles every two seconds but our lifetime is smaller than two seconds. So I'm just gonna set every particle to have a lifetime of two seconds. And then it's gonna get rid of that little moment of all of darkness. There we go. Okay, great, I like this. And, oh, I could have just set the color here. That's fine, let's do that. And now if I go back into my level blueprint, we did this together in the previous video and I'll post a link to that in the description. I can just switch my system now to the static mesh and I have that spawning on the P key. And now I have all of these static meshes with some particles. 
Cool. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to add some forces to this so that we can send these particles flying off of the static mesh. So check out the next video for that.